Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can apply a grouping to a report that will illustrate hierarchical relationships in the underlying data source. Many times this type of relationship is created by what is referred to as a self-join within a table, where one column or field's values, like an employee ID, appear as the values for two different fields, where you might have an employee ID field and also a supervisor ID field. Creating a hierarchical grouping allows you to view and sort the data based on the relationship between the two fields. If you have a relationship like the one mentioned within the table or tables in your report, you can create a hierarchical grouping on the data. To create a hierarchical grouping, first create a data grouping on the field which is the basis for your hierarchy, such as an employee ID field. And then set any display options for the group that you would like. And sort it in ascending order. Here we're going to customize the group name so that instead of showing an employee ID, we'll see the first name and last name. And then we're going to click OK and click OK to create the first grouping, which if we preview it right now, simply shows each person's name as their own group based on their employee ID. Once you have that group created, select Report from the menu bar and choose the Hierarchical Grouping Options command from the menu. This will open up the Hierarchical Group Options dialog box. And here you'll see the listing of the groups that you've created in your report shown in the available groups list at the left side of this dialog box. Click on the name of the group that you want to sort hierarchically within this list to select it. Then check the Sort Data Hierarchically checkbox. This makes the Parent ID field dropdown become active. Use this dropdown to select the name of the field by which you want the group that you selected in the available groups list organized. So using our example, if you'd selected the employee ID as the field by which you're grouping the data, you could then select the supervisor ID from the parent ID field dropdown to display the employees hierarchically sorted by whom they report to, as displayed in the supervisor ID. Note that in order to create a hierarchical organization, you must have the two fields that share the same data type. Now once you have the field selected, you can then type a number into the group indent box. The number which you type into this box is the number in inches by which you wish to indent the records underneath each created grouping. When you've finished, click OK to apply the hierarchical grouping. So here you can see Stephen reports to Andrew, and Nancy, Janet, Margaret, Michael, Robert, Laura, Anne, all report to Stephen. And notice what it also does to the tree view of groupings shown over at the left side of the pane as well. Now once you have the field selected, you can also go in and create summary fields. And just notice that when you're inserting summary fields, you'll now have the ability to calculate field values across hierarchical groupings that you've created. All you have to do is check Summarize across hierarchy. So here you can see the total count in this example of the people that report to the selected individual. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.